Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply the Pythagoras theorem on composite shapes. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In the diagram, BCD is a straight line with AB equals 8 centimeters, AC equals 6 centimeters, AE equals 7 centimeters, and the line ED is equal to 10 centimeters. Calculate the length of A, AD, and B, BD to one decimal place. To start with, I'm going to find the length of AD. To find the length of AD, the triangle I'm going to use is the triangle ADE as highlighted below. So I have A, I'm going to draw a rough sketch of the triangle as shown. So we have the 90 degree at E, AE is 7 centimeters, ED is 10 centimeters as shown in the diagram. To find AD, I'm going to use the Pythagoras theorem. And we know that the Pythagoras theorem states that the longest side or the side facing your right angle, that's your AD, all squared, is equal to the sum of the square of the other short sides. So we have AE squared plus the other short side, ED squared. Putting in the values, we have AD, which is the unknown side, is equal to AE, that's 7 squared, plus ED, that's 10 squared. We have AD squared is equal to 7 squared is the same as 7 times 7, that's 49, plus 10 squared, that's 10 times 10, 100, Therefore, your AD squared is equal to 49 plus 100, that's 849. To find AD, we will find the square root of both sides to get rid of your square. Therefore, your AD, or the line AD, is equal to 12.2 centimeters. Note that we've been asked to put all our answers in one decimal place. So I have, that's one dp, or one decimal place. The next part of the question says, we should find the line or the length of the line BD. If you go back to the diagram, the length of the line BD is as shown, and we have that as B, BD is equal to BC plus CD because that accounts for the total length of BD. That is, we have BC plus CD. So we are going to break that down into two parts. We have the first triangle that's finding, I'll start with CD. In order to find the length CD, the diagram I'm using will be the right angle triangle ACD such that I have my AC, 6 centimeters, right angle at C, I'm looking for CD. Then from the A path of the question, I was able to find AD to be 12.2 centimeters to two decimal places. So therefore, writing out uh, my equation using the Pythagoras theorem, I start with the side facing the right angle or the longest side. I have that as AD squared is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. I have AC squared plus CD squared. And because I'm looking for CD, I'm going to make that my subject of formula. So I have CD squared equals AD squared minus AC squared. I have CD squared equals AD squared, if I go back to the diagram, will be 12.2 centimeters squared minus AC squared, that's 6 squared. That's equal to 12.2 squared, that's 148.84 minus 6 squared, 6 times 6, 36. Therefore, CD squared is equal to 112.84, that's 148.84 minus 36. To find CD, I'll find the square root of both sides to cancel my square. 
Therefore, the distance CD is equal to 10.6 centimeters to one decimal place. Like I stated earlier, the total distance BD is the sum of the distance BC plus the distance CD. As highlighted, I've been able to find the distance CD. The next step is to find the distance BC. To do that, the diagram I'm going to use will be the right angle triangle A, B, and C. If I draw a rough sketch as shown, I have that as A, B, and C, so that my AB is 8 centimeters. Note that angles are the straight line add up to 180. And because this is a right angle, this is also a right angle at C. Then I have AC to be 6 centimeters. So therefore, using your right angle or Pythagoras theorem, I will start with the longest side. That is the side facing your right angle. So I have AB squared is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. That's BC squared plus AC squared. Because um, to find BC, I will have BC as my subject equals AB squared minus AC squared. That will give us AB squared, that's 8 squared, minus AC squared, 6 squared. 8 squared, that's 64 minus 6 squared, 36. Therefore, my BC squared is equal to 64 minus 36 will give me 28. Finding the square root of both sides in order to get rid of my square, I have the distance BC equals to square root of 28. That's Five point three to one dp. Therefore, to find the total distance BD as shown, I have BD is equal to BC plus CD. BC is equal to five point three centimeters plus CD ten point six centimeters if i add that together the total distance bd will be equal to 15 one five point six plus three nine centimeters all to one decimal place thanks for watching bye